Exclusively for Solid Edge users, we have a replace with function available in DDM. By default, this function is not switched on, but we will learn how to switch it on and how to use this function in Solid Edge and DDM. So on screen, I have a conveyor assembly, and this conveyor assembly has a guide fitted. And what we're going to do is to replace this guide with another guide that has some holes in it so that we can see how the replace with function works. So if we close this from session and we return to DDM, what we need to do in DDM admin is add a new group called replace with users. And I'm going to add myself into that group. Once that's complete, we can search for this conveyor assembly uh, in DDM. So uh, here is the assembly. So here's our guide, and I want to replace it with uh, the second guide that has holes in, which is C-10,075A. So we right-click and we find our new Replace With menu option, which opens this dialog. And so this is the item that we're going to replace with this item, which is C-10075A. If we run a find on that, uh, it finds the guide that we want to, to use. And you'll see that this original part is used on two assemblies, my one meter conveyor assembly, and also on an alternative frame assembly that is actually released. So I want to replace it on the, on the main assembly. But if I try and select the second assembly that's released, you'll see that we don't have permission. And because it's a released assembly, we can't replace this item into this re released assembly. So once we've completed that, we can click on OK to apply that, and the item is replaced. So if we return to our conveyor assembly and now load it into session, you'll see that it's now picked up the guide with holes. Click on OK to load it into session. This part's changed, and now we have our guide with the holes loaded into our assembly.